Hey, Shalom, Makium. This is Yabat I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yabat Shem Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Uh, striving for the hopeful elect, enduring all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yabat Shem El Shai, Basham Rakakwadash, Barakatah Makium. All right, I just want to go into this article I found under, uh, it's called Semantics or Semantic Blogs by Kara S. Traeger, a journalist, and it was posted uh, February 13, 2019. Uh, I'm not sure if and, uh, any brothers have done it uh, since then, but uh, I'm going to go into it. It says, uh, microchip implants, big brother, and a chip coming our way. Okay, so it's going into the RFID chip. We know that uh, by way of, of the scriptures, the, the scriptures refer to... Uh, what is known as the mark of the beast, and it's been um dis um uh you know argued what it what it what it is throughout the century, you know, it was it a, a embargo a part barcode, you know a branding you know a actual uh number which is they what they call six six six, you know now in our time two thousand nineteen you got guys talking about it being the um christianity or you know the uh the cus or you know the custom traditions of the so-called white man the america you know but it's neither of those you know what i'm saying it's actually this um tangible uh um item that is the size of a white rice grain and that can be injected into the flesh and before i continue or go into reading this i want to read revelations 13 and 16 and it says and he calls all both small great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred and three score six Okay, so when you go into that word mark, it's karagma, which it has to do with um, cutting in the flesh, okay, which is you're being pricked with something. All right, so I want to go into it. It says microchip uh, implants, big brother, and a chip coming our way. As more organizations begin wa uh, wadding, in, wadding, wadding into uncharted territory society will be forced to examine a host of new privacy and security questions without easy easy answers back in 1969 when star trek's fleet officers scanned their thumbs on a pad to pay bills uh tv audience audiences got more than a dose of sci-fi they gaze into the future the future is now a reality okay now um since they're they're mentioning you know, we we know we make we make mention of it in, in um videos starting with the elders that Esau likes to put Esau likes to put his um his ideas or his future plans in movies. Okay? He likes to show the world what um could be just you know sci fi that is what um is basically impossible but not realizing to the audience that he's already work either he's already invented it he's created he's made it happen or he's about to make it happen that's where um people fall into that who can make who can make war with the beast and they all at the miracles of the beast as it said in revelation 13 and 13 and he doth great wonders so that he make make his fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men okay so he makes he make his wonders happen. So let me go back over here. And the book of Thessalonians uh two and nine. It says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Okay? So he'll use these things. Um, as it stated here in the movie Star Trek, they showed you that was in the 70s, 60s, late, early, late 60s, early 70s, showing you that what we have today was considered the impossible. But now it's here. 
So how much more the RFID chip? Now, was what I was going to say earlier is that there's movies out there that have always been, like in the 80s, there's movies about the RFID chip. Okay? But nobody in their mind really thought it could be possible. It, it was just always a thought. Hey, man, that would be crazy if they did do that. But what do you know? It's, it's, being, it's being pushed out today in our time. It says that future is now a reality. Okay? So, um, that brings to mind is in the book of, let's see here, in the book of Habakkuk uh, 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. The RFID chip, the mark, what is known as the mark of the beast in the Bible, okay, in Revelation chapter 13, is going to come, and it's here. All right? It's now a reality. It's not just a vision. It's not just a thought anymore. Okay. It says, since last August, Earthborn employees at Three Square Market, a Wisconsin-based tech firm, have been breezing into their workplace, operating computers, and making purchases at on-site vending machines. Right? So this is that one um, uh, company um, known as Three Square Market in Wisconsin, where their their employees, you know, I think it started with like a, a number of fifty that were uh, voluntarily injected with the RFID chip into their flesh to gain access to the company doors and things of that nature. Now it's saying that they're able to buy, um, you know, things from vending machines, and all it is like even at the job that I was at and prior jobs, even what. Five, six, seven, eight years ago, you know, you 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 would have to um, clock in with by using your your thumbprint, you know, uh, you would use a badge to clock in, you know, or scan your badge to access the company door, you know. So that's always been in the making. It's always been there, but now they're they're instead of it being a badge. And there was this one one thing that went on in San Antonio with the school, where they were wanting their the, the children to be to carry in a, a a tracking device implanted in their badge to know where to know where their uh the students whereabouts were you know and that was just that what that is is basically leading up into that um receiving the RFID chip man you know them them uh making it mandatory and there's nothing you can do about it when they when they tell you you're going to have to do it you're going to do it you know they they're basically just doing a lot of test runs and seeing how people are gonna react. That's what Esau does. He 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 does these things sporadically and then he he he's, he looks at the results on how people are gonna respond to it, you know, and just kind of because Esau what he does he's he's like a, a, a he's like he's a predator. So a predator don't just rush in and try to attack you. He he watches you. He follows you. He he stalks you, and he's monitoring your every move, movement. Okay, so he waits for the right times to come in. So, um, it's it's been shown it's been shown to us throughout all the the you know the eighties seventies and the you know eighties uh, nineties and we're in the two thousands man. So it's 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 been shown to us you know gradually throughout the years in movies, you know um you know certain like I said certain uh situations or occurrences that happen within the schools or the uh, businesses such as this one, it says. All by waving a hand implanted with a data crammed microchip. So all they had to do is wave the hand, and boom, they gain access to the to the, the to a certain room, you know, to 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 per making a purchase. It says elsewhere in Sweden, an earlier or an early a, a adopter of microchip implants in everyday life, train conductors scan passengers' hands after they book tickets online and register register them on their chip you see so you, ha you actually have certain parts of you know the regions of the earth where people are actually using these you know fluently man and they're act they're actually do performing the things that were considered the impossible okay they're making purchases or they're they don't use you know they don't use any kind of um you know they they use it to uh start their vehicle to to gain access to their vehicles you know so this is no longer something that's just of a thought or a vision this is actually being performed in the earth right now man okay 
it says these current uses only hint at the extraordinary potential for microchip implants in the United States and around the globe. See, so these current uses only hint at the extraordinary potential for microchip implants in the United States and around the globe. It's the future that these chips are going to be more and more uh, uh, ubiquitous. Let me let me uh, copy that. Let's see here, Salakia. Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous, and it means exi existing or being everywhere at the same time, widespread. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, widespread, man. This is not just gonna be like like it's saying in 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 certain parts of the of 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 the earth or a business or a school where it's being uh, rehearsed or practiced. You know, it's eventually gonna be made mandatory, man. Okay, it's um. Let me bring out this other one here. This is Revelations three and ten. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And that's that RFID chip, man. That, that's going to be the ultimate test of, of our faith. Okay, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to involve, it's going to involve you being uh, an enemy of the state, you uh, not being able to eat, drink, buy, sell. Um, to survive in the means of, of how we've been surviving. You know, we, we work, we go to our jobs, and we're, we're, we get a paycheck, and we pay our bills, we buy food, we take care of our families, we, we buy uh, clothes, shoes, deodorant, toothpaste, all these different things just to have a sense of life. But it's going to come a point where um, the ones that are in the knowing, you have to... Uh, um, reject this thing, man. And that's that hour and temptation where you're going to be tried and tempted. Okay. Because of this, this thing that's going to be made mandatory. Like I said here. Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. Existing or being everywhere at the same time. So it's not, it's not, it's not just going to be in one specific area anymore. Or in, it's sporadically here and there. It says it's the future and, and these chips are going to be more and more Ubiquitous, said Arthur uh, Kaplan, director of the Division of Medical Ethics at the NYU School of Medicine. With credit cards, passports, and driver license incorporating identification embedded microchips and many pet owners implanting chips into their pets to track their whereabouts, it was only a matter of time before they entered the human body. See, so they always knew what they, they, it, they always do test runs on the animals. We know We know that. How they're going to respond to certain things, to med medication, you know, um, you know, you know, that, that's just what they do. They, they, they run, they do test runs on monkeys or rats, pigs before they actually start uh, transferring it and, and using it on, on human beings. OK. So, you know, going back to the credit cards and passports, all that is, 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 is you know, embedded with the chip, you know, your um, your debit card has a chip in it. You know, it's it's slowly but gradually leading to that. Everything is becoming more, um, you know, RFID friendly, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? It says predictions ab ab abound that everyone. Predictions abound that everyone from babes in arms to elderly folks suffering from dementia will one day have a microchip implant for one reason or another. And there's different reasons why Esau is um, pushing is going to push and will push the RFID chip uh, upon different uh, groups of people, different groups, you know, the life, you know, the lifestyles and things and how it's going to benefit them, the young and the old, you know, the sick and the healthy, you know, the poor and the rich. You know, that's why he says that um, it, it, there's going to be a benefit. It's going to benefit you. He's going to deceive you by those means. That's why it says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and in their forehead, because it's going to be uh, the hour of temptation. He's going to tempt you with this benefit package, some type of package to where you're going to want to take it. Okay? He's not just going to go out there and be like, hey, man, you if you don't take this, you ain't going to eat. You're going to, you can da da da. I mean, it's going to come to a point like that eventually. But in the meanwhile, he's going to, he's going to tempt you by 
a means of, of, of money, you know, and like the brothers are saying, you know, he's going to wipe your slate clean. You ain't going to be in debt no more. He's going to give you, he's going to wipe your slate clean, not you, you not being in debt. You're going to give you, you know, maybe a hundred thousand dollars, you know, credit unto you, you know, for, for taking this new, um, you know, this new device, this new way of, of making purchases, you know, not realizing that this is that, that last prophecy that is to be fulfilled. And Esau being um, the devil that he is coming down with great wrath because he knows he had it but a short time. You're going to be caught up into that, man. You know? So it says, looking ahead, leave a Barrett, exec executive director and CEO of the Electronic Healthcare Network uh, Accreditation Commission sees value in hospitals microchipping newborns to ensure that mothers leave with their infants they bore. You see, so he, he so this devil is doing everything to, 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 to push that chip on people, man. You know, even from, from newborns to, to the elderly, you know, there's always an excuse this man has to, to why, but when he's, he's out there doing all the fucking killing, the stealing, you know, the robbery, but then he's over here trying what, what it is. This is, uh, the mark of the beast is take the RFID chip is the ultimate servitude to your oppressor. Okay, that's the ultimate thing. It's not because he uses, um, um, you know, privacy. He comes in the name of peace. He'll use um, uh, terrorism, you know, the fight against terrorism as a means of him being good. But it really, he's he's not. He has a whole different agenda. Okay, and that's to gain world domination, you know, control the people. But ultimately, he knows that if anybody takes this this chip, you know, that mark of the beast. That is, that is it. You can't, there's no way that you can go, you can get right with the Heavenly Father anymore. This is uh, a, a, uh, Exodus 21 and verse um, 5. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. You see, so that is a, pr a pricking, a piercing of the uh, of an uh, instrument into the flesh, and that's a signification, signifies you being a servant unto your master forever. So that's what it is. He wants to gain complete control of you, okay? So in anywhere from the babies to, to the elderly, okay, and everything in between. Just like we know that he's 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 he put his name upon the the heavens the, the the planets the earth every street has is 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 you know not every street but there's streets that have his name you know and ultimately you know him being uh, setting himself up as the Most High you know they have that image of Caesar Borgia that white image. Him saying that the people over there in Israel, those people claiming themselves to be the true people of the Lord, when they're not. Okay. It says. And he en envisions an ever growing use of microchip implants containing detailed data on an individual's medical conditions, including allergies, so that physicians can readily access the information in the event. Of an emergency hospital at admission so we know why everything is set up the way it is here in america man you know fast food you know a convenience store everything is 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 meant is you know is to be convenient 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 fast-paced not realizing that it, it's just making things worse man everything feels rushed you know we don't feel at peace because of these different things that he has um set up but that's one of his 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 devices that he'll use to try to sweat to get you to take the chip. How convenient it will be. It says in rural areas where no physicians practice, microchip implants could remotely transmit an individual's health data to a nurse or doc doctor, said Kaplan, who sees the devices particularly advan advan advantageous to astronauts and submarine personnel advantages that it says to astronauts and submarine personnel that uh, chips could also let authorities know whether pilots are drunk before or 
after takeoff you see so even if they don't actually have it in the uh but it's it's leading to it and eventually esau is going to have it to where it's, it's it's able to perform it okay that it's able to perform look at everything that he has the biometrics he got um things that can mon uh you know measure you know your your facial expressions your facial uh makeup and know who you are just by that he don't have to have an id he don't have to have blood samples or hair samples to know who you, who you are he can do a facial recognition and boom he already knows who you are he has that kind of technology you know eye rated radius he can read your eye he can eat and, and find you out information about you that way so how much more in this chip it just it just in the making eventually he's going to be able to do it Okay. It says predictions about uh, predictions abound that everyone from babies in arms to elderly folks suffering from dementia will one day have a microchip implant for one reason or another. Okay? And this this devil is going to come like that, you know. And I'm going to bring out two scripts. Uh this is uh 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. Lee, Satan should get an advantage of us we are not ignorant of his devices, you know, his lies. And that's the only way you're not going to be ignorant is by taking heed unto the word of Yahweh Shemiyah Washai and knowing the difference between good and evil. That's where the exercise of your senses therein comes. Okay. This is um in the book of Daniel. Let's see, it's a lot here. This is in the book of Daniel, chapter 8. Uh, verse 25 um, Yeah, and, and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand And he shall magnify himself in his heart And by peace shall destroy many He shall also stand up against the prince of princes But he shall be broken without hand Okay, so he's going to come by his policy And cause craft to prosper in his hand And, and he shall magnify himself in his heart you know, he's going to gain rule of all the people, you know, it says by peace shall just and by peace shall destroy many. You see, so he's going to come as that sheep, but he's going to speak as a he speaks as a dragon, man. OK, it says in the world of law and order, a microchip uh, with GPS capabilities could be implanted in inmates to minimize uh, prison breakouts as well as increase the likelihood of capturing escapees before they do any harm in the outside world but you know the, the people the, the, those men women that are in prison you know i uh, should i'm i'm i won't be surprised if they're already getting they're already been mark uh chip it says but along with their many uses microchip implants could be prone to abuse predict experts okay which goes into that whole movie um uh, minority report with Tom Cruise, which they had a um, crime prediction, you know, they predicted when a crime was going to be, uh, 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 you know, uh, when, a, when when a crime was going to be uh, performed or occur, they already had known. OK, so he's, he's he wants to go into that by way of of reading your 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 thoughts. It says through Wi-Fi, black black haters could latch onto microchip implants affecting them. With havoc producing viruses so they could access the vital inf private information the devices contain. Someone can use the information to extort you, sell it, and threaten to uh, re release it in public places, said Kaplan. The chip could also spur physical violence with thieves abducting microchip individuals and forcing them, forcing them to wave their hand to withdraw cash at ATMs. To prevent, and this is the, these are the cons, right? To prevent such scenarios, Robert J. Shaker, the second senior manager, produced product manager, product manager, and semantics uh, cyber security service manager, envisions a technology. So he's envisioning it. Okay, so the word vision, right? When you go into the scriptures, goes back to to the word prophecy or dream. You know, so he has a dream. You know, a vision, a technology that monitors heart rates and brain waves in order to send signals to the chip that the implanted individual is under duress. Look up that word duress real quick. It says, 
uh, threats, violence, constraints, or other action brought to bear on someone to do something against their will or better judgment. Okay, so they have this 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 vision of 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 uh, 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 creating a program that can do what it's about to say and to block access to an ATM. So when it when that chip uh, senses the individual under distress, it's gonna it's gonna shut down and to block access to an ATM. You see, so these Edomites are already envisioning this type type of technology. What they have to do next? What's the next step? How we're gonna how we're gonna um, prevent uh, identity fraud? You know, hacking and things of that nature. You know, so they're already they're already doing it, man. You know what I'm saying? They know what they got to do. For people that are out there and saying, "Oh, that can never come to that can never happen because of of uh, uh, hackers and stuff like that," you know. It says the implant would notice something is wrong and could start sending signals for help. Said Shaker, who views the microchips tie in with DNA, brain waves, and heart as an end to end authentication process. Now, if you go on YouTube and you you, uh, it's a real old video. I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but there's a, a old a old YouTube video that I had seen many years ago, and it was going into the you know RFID chip and how they had been implanted in certain animals, the horse, and I remember a horse, and I believe it was a cat, and the horse was running, and the man switched the device onto off. It was something either either on and off, off or on. <laughs> On the, the the horse would run, on off it would automatically just stop. Like it was almost like you applied brakes to the horse, and it was unnatural. When you see it, when it's just unnatural. It's like almost something just forced it to be blocked. You know, the horse was forced to stop. It just looks real unnatural, and it's not by um, any, a, a man riding on the horse or nothing like that. Okay, and then the the cat. He was in a cage and the cat was like, you know, hissing, you know, was pissed off. But then they would turn it off and it would just go normal. Like just, you know, it was just calm out of nowhere. It says, um, Brian Green, a director of technology ethics at Santa Clara University's uh, Marcula Center for Applied Ethics, expressed concern that in a world where retailers, credit card companies, and employers would, would each have their own chips for human implantation. The government could become the centralized surveillance body, which would turn the country into a surveillance state, plus it could be hackable. A loss of privacy is underlining issue, said Green. As implants become more widespread, Green believes that individuals should have the right to decide whether they want the microchip in their bodies. But in a surveillance state, individuals who decline implanted microchips could be out of sync with technology and even marginalized. Okay, so what does that what does that bring to mind? Um, your cell phones. Your cell phones eventually stop working. You know, within a few years, they'll they'll they'll, put, they'll still turn on and stuff like that, but they're not at its. Um, at its highest peak of being strength, you know, st strong, you know, the signals whack, everything is malfunctioning, you know, because it's not meeting the uh, the technology. Okay, that's why you have like different, you know, um, what do they call them? Updates, phone updates, because those updates are being they're they're there for a reason to to meet the technology that they're always constantly evolving. Throughout the years, the months, they're, they're making changes and all that stuff because in order for that technology to keep, um, you know, it has to keep going, it has to keep growing, you know what I'm saying? And then the old shit, the old phones just become discarded, you know, they ain't worth nothing no more, you know? It's just, that's, that's part of one of the devil's tricks. And it says, um, let me read that again. The government... The government could become the centralized surveillance body. Well, oh, Salaki, let me come down right here. Um, it says, as implants become more widespread, Green believes that it, that individuals sh should have the right to decide whether they 
want the microchip in the bodies. But in a surveillance state, okay, to be surveillance, you're being, you're watched. Close observation, especially of a suspected spy or criminal. So during the uh, the Patriot Act, during uh, 9-11, uh, President Bush had signed the, the, that, that act and deemed everybody um, a suspect, you know, a terrorist, basically. Okay? It says, um, surveillance, it says observation, scrutiny, watch, view, inspection, supervise, spy, espionage, infiltration, you know? So that's 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 what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So he he's he's just watching everything that you do, every every move, every thought, every heartbeat, you know, your emotion, everything. Okay? So it says, but in a surveillance state, and we are under a surveillance state. Why? Because like I said, you know, or what I wanted to make mention, you know, there's cameras everywhere. Cameras in the schools, the restaurants, on the street lights. They are everywhere. That's what we know as Big Brother, but Big Brother becoming the microchip, okay? The ultimate um, way of surveillance, all right? But in a surveillance state, individuals who decline implanted microchips could be out of sync with technology and even marginalized, okay? Going back to the cell phone, your event, your your your, your phone that doesn't meet that, um, like certain apps, if you're not if you're not uh upgraded with the uh, uh the latest phone, the app won't work anymore. You know what I'm saying? It won't. You can't up use it. Okay. Um, it, like I said, the phone starts losing its power. It don't it don't work as good. It's not as fast and quick because the updates are constantly the technology is constantly moving up, growing. And it, and that's the way it is going to be. It says could be, uh, could be out of sync with technology. Okay, and even marginalized. So I'm gonna look up that word marginalized. It says, treat a person, group, or concept concept as insig insignificant or peripheral. Okay, let's look here. The verb it says sideline, trivialize, isolate, cut off, shut out, disenfranchise, alienated, estrange, discriminate against. Okay, so that's what the word, that's what they use that word, marginalize. Basically, they're saying um, individuals who decline in planet tech, uh, let me highlight it all. <sighs> this thing's looking, pissing me off. Right here. It says individuals who decline implanted microchips could be out of sync with technology, technology and even marginalized. Or even cut off. So individuals that don't take it, you'll be cut off. So that's prophecy being fulfilled here in the book of Revelation chapter 13. Where it says, you, you shall not buy, eat, or sell. Right? It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. You that had the chip. Why? Because you're in sync with the technology. You're in sync with the times, you know. It says they would risk not having the same protections as those who are microchipped. And if they were in danger, the police wouldn't be able to rescue them as readily imagined green. green. You see, so they're using these different um, pros and cons and, you know, how it's going to benefit you and how would it benefit you and how you're going to suffer loss, how you're going you're gonna to be in danger, you're going to be, you know, an outcast. You know, but it, it it's true. It's, it's going to be to where you're going to become an enemy of the state. You're going to be hunted. You're going to be brought for questioning. You're going to be looked at as a, a as a as a terrorist. You know, as somebody that is against their rules to their laws, man. <clears throat> it says on a. On a micro level, a company could also become a surveillance entity. Although tracking devices are already embedded in corporate owned cars and other equipment provided to employees for their work, we can detach ourselves from the car, said Michael Anzel, 
and so an attorney specializing in labor employment and consumer class action cases and associated with the New Jersey law firm Ansel Grime and Aaron PC but there's no cutoff for a chip implanted employers would have acknowledged so like it. employers would have knowledge of their microchip workers comings goings and doings before during and after work hours and that's what that's why it's labeled the big brother as big brother because Esau he's that one he's the one that watch, wants to watch everything you do you know but not realizing to the general public that this is the ultimate allegiance to bowing down to Satan to him to Esau the devil which is a liar. The word dev devil goes back to the word diablos, which means a liar. Okay, so he's using these things coming in the name of peace, coming as a lamb, coming as a, you know, a man that wants to, you know, make the world better. You know, talking about one world, uh, a one world order, u unity. It says, and unless the country passes legislation similar to HIPAA, which provides data privacy and security provisions for safeguarding medical information employers are under no obligation to stay mum about their workers personal lives as soon as you allow employers to have it it doesn't prevent them from disclosing it to others said and so so basically you're just going to be open to everything and everyone it says according to experts other possible consequences include doctors refusing to care uh, for individuals whose microchip indicates that they aren't eating properly or taking their daily medicine and insurance companies denying coverage to people and plant it with a tracking chip that reveals their tendency to speed. You see, so they can deny certain things if you ain't following according to the, you know, your, your diet plan or, you know, the doctor's instructions and stuff like that. You know, you can be cast out. There's no lying cheating hiding or ducking said kaplan it's big brother in a tiny chip you know so basically you're you're allowing esau to come into you and ultimately to come into you and to control you man you know it's it's not a joke you know and then semantic is also uh you can buy you know it's antivirus you can buy it for your computers you know so it, it they're all getting into they're all getting involved man you know, like I said, the title is Microchip Microchip Implants Big Brother in a Chip Coming Our Way. Okay. So I just wanted to bring this out for you brothers to, you know, like I said, I don't know if a brother had already uh, brought it out since the last time it was, uh, what was this, February 13, 2019. You know, it was the beginning of this year. 